Jambo guys hiyo guys Zeki and welcome to Jazz Zeki show. So kwa nimedunga hii reflector weka ukijua tuko na show inajita hustle yako ni gani? So utakao naingia mtaani. Uliza wasi hustle yao ni gani? Challenge zenye mafisi na wa get to encourage wasi vile wanataka wanataka kuanza biz. So karibu kwa show and let's go meet wasi hapa mtaani na hustle zao. Karibu mrembo kwa show unaitwa nani? Jemi Makiti. Ah so hasoli yako ni gani? Ah uh, hasoli yangu mimi napika. Mm -hmm. I make different dishes mm -hmm. from chapati, mahamri, pilau, biryani. Mm -hmm. Depends on what the customers ordered. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uko na shop yako? No, size sina shop yangu. Mm -hmm. Niko mahali I'm partnering with Gravels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hapo ndo ninajishikilia for now. The business is mine but I'm doing the partnership with Gravel Riders. Ah, so mna patakana mta gani? Tuko tena estate. Mm -hmm. Karibu na Joy Gardens. Ah, hiyo ni poa. So karibu kwa show. So unataka tujue challenges gani mna face kwa hii industry yenu ya food? Mm, so far so good. Sasa ah. sema kuna challenges. Ah. Yeah, but tuko sawa. So for na challenges za bei bei za chakula kupanda na hizi stuff zingine. Yeah, bei kipanda tunapandisha bei so. <laughs> Mnafukuza <laughs> customers. Yeah, tuna, no, kuna siku kufukuza customers. Yeah. Alafu pia I think we are lucky cuz customers wetu pia wanaelewa venye uchumi iko. So yeah, we just go with the flow. Sa, so una then kareje aje wasi wanapiga aso pale nje na wanataka kuanza aso kaa yako. Ah, uh, kitu nizawaambia you just be patient with yourself. Just do what you do best. You give it your all. Mm. Yeah. So waambie wasi subscribe to just Zeki. Subscribe guys, just Zeki. <laughs> and I also have a YouTube channel. Ah, kwa kuna channel so introduce yeah. your channel as well. Mm, YouTube Jemi Makithi na pika huko I teach guys how to make different meals. Uh, TikTok Mima underscore K. So we need real hustle ako na hustle yake ya kawaida na ako na hustle side hustle ya YouTube. So guys, support Jemima. Cheers. Cheers. Unitu aje? Naitua Robert. So hustle yako ni gani bro? Nauza maziwa. Nauza maziwa. Uko na ngombe Nairobi? Apana, natuwa kutoka ushagu. Oh, so kazi ni kazi? Kazi ni kazi. So unatuwa maziwa ocha, unafanya delivery home? Ena, unatuwa home deliveries. So guys, wanaza kupata aje. Piyana namba ya simu uze maziwa? Namba yangu ni 0712-239-775. Na prices kwa aje? Liter ni 75. Liter ni 75. Maziwa fresh kutoka kiambu? Kabisa. Na shukuru mazi. Hustle ni hustle? Hustle ni hustle. Mijana wa semi wakuna kazi? Kazi ni kazi. Kevin Pio, hustle yangu ni delivery through bike. I cycle daily. Cycling bikes? Yeah, cycling bike. On a daily basis. Ah, nice. Yeah. So unajua hizi tumeruko atukio na tuma juu peke yake ndiyo kuna hizo cycle deliveries. Pia Kenya ziko? Kenya ziko. Na hizi parapara za Kenya challenges ni gani? Challenges unajua tu ni matatu. Matatu, watu wa ndudhi, au ndiyo natusumbua. So kuna wale asa unagopa hizi jobs za delivery, uneza nikarijia aja wa same time? Ah, my boys, umusi ogope. Kujeni, just start from somewhere and things will work out. Bora tu toke inje, ukisha toka tu inje, vitu zitafunguka. Usijifungie ndani. Hustle ziko, ujeni mfanyi hustle. So kazi ni kazi? Kazi ni kazi, piga wera, ikubambe, na umekdo. Iyo yako ndogo yato na dharau, iyo ndiyo do yako. Sawa, bora usweti. Kabisa. Ama vipi? Mweza nikarijia aje kwa ekonomi ya Kenya mekuwa nomo. Mweza ambia aje gava? Gava aje onduani, watu pige tu boost. Sindi ya? Watu pige tu boost kiasi kwa hii cycling fraternity. Kuna magroups huku na huku. Wakuja ya tucheze tuki tukiasi at least. Maboizo wa nikitu imeingia kwa jilete. Sindio? Ama vipi bro? Saa, shukura nijua maze. Karibu kwa shuru. Karibu kwa shuru. Karibu kwa shuru. Asante sana. So utatu wa meo nituwa nani na hasuli yako ni gani? Mina ituwa Gideon. Gideon Munene. Mie njua kunafanya na bike mobility hapa mali hosti ya hii club ya gravel. So mi ufanya kama mse wa delivery za collect kwa parts za bikes. Kwa kenda wa client pia kupeleka kama natama menu wabitu kama helmet, wabitu kama hene kusweza za bikes. Then pia nirijifunza pia kuripea bikes. So in the process. So iku ya profession yangu ya kwanza. So nizianza tu kustori za bike. Nikaanza kujua kustori za bike. So saine za mda bike. Pia baru nafanya delivery za bike. Ufanya side hustle. Iyo ni sani vitu za simu kama power bands, earphones, bluetooth. Vitu kama hizo. Alafu pia kuna shopu wana nikoligi nyene ni wachukulia kikita wano wapeleke. So unapata kwa siku unezaenda mahali upatata so mbili tu hile umepigiwa simu wala utafunoya. So mbili yako inaingia. So kutoka hapa kwa ndata hao ina kukosta about 20 minutes max. So yu unatumia bike? Yee. So kuwana simu, simu ina kusaidia yaani unakuwa 
in a week uwezi kosa ni kitu unazofanya so unasema hata digital uh, market sasa ime, ime grow size yeah, ime grow, yeah. so kwa na simu iko na google maps wa activate your voice at ni hata kama uji mahali mtu anakutumia location eh and then itakuwa yeah, ukiweka tu hii afon ama bluetooth on mm. inakuambia tu turn so inakuwa very easy so kuna places zinaga hizo ma direction but unauliza watu wa piki piki wanakusaidia then wanakusaidia yeah. <laughs> so ina make it ni inakuwa rahisi kwako kama una kama uko na vitu za uza na uko na bike inakuwa added advantage mm. au lipi fair ukienda ta urudi hiyo ni so mbili imechomeka mimi mimi ni kana delivery nipate hiyo so mbili maybe ndakula chwani <laughs> lakini na wewe ume cycle mbaya. The more una get in cycling mm. unakuwa fit in a way that unata una, kama leo nimeenda town school nimeenda kula breakfast na nime manage nimeenda town kaingia south sea na nikarudi. Ah Nikuja very kuru. fast. Yeah, yeah. So unaenda ukizoea mm. and then sasa in terms of challenges tu ni penye tukeval kwa nasema mm. kuna drivers wengi especially wa Uber wanatumia simu kama bado wana. Mtu wa badala ya park gari ya plan route anaangalia ana start engine ndio anaanza kuchukua simu ona anaenda wapi. Ah, so unapata yeah. most of the time you have to look your your rear one nani yako nyuma yako gari iko wapi. Mm. Ju wengi wao wanakujanga wanakufinya na bike mm. na gari wanakufinya kwa pavement. So mm. unapaswa kila wakati uko very aware. Ustumie ya phone bill if you have to use for maybe communication to near side moja mm. side yenye kuna traffic. Mm. Then uko very very ni careful yani kama umeingia kwa barabara unajifunza tu kwa aware ni nini naendelea yeah, kadra uh, mali kuna ngori kama hii time kulikuwa na demos unajua demos ziko hapo unakuwa yani uh, unakuwa ready kujua nini naendelea around, around uh, so unakuwa inafanya iko safe then uh, na Kenya nadhambia watu wenyewe wanataka kujoin hii industry mm-hmm. itataka uji usa a lot of things mm-hmm. mimi like profession nimefanya ni toka kwa uh, vision industry yeah. but those papers niko nazo niko na diploma kama tatu mm-hmm. moja iko hiyo ya story za vision but mm-hmm. I've worked also back kwa airline but ukikuja hapa sahi kwa hiyo economy ya sahi hii 2020 miaka hii ya 2020 kwenda juu yeah. you may have degrees mpaka za engineering na yeah, those papers hasta hasta kulisha mm-hmm. so you have to forget class work masat yeah. sahau huko nje kuna jobs jobs zinafanya yeah. as long as umejituma utakosa kitu wa kufanya yeah. then ukuwe na ustake unasikia watu wanaitwa microwave generation yeah. watu wanataka vitu umeingia eh, ume kwa so kama hii umekosa umeza kata wiki moja utapata job ya delivery yeah. una give up but in the meantime nini unaweza fanya mm. au unaweza pata ndo mahali unaweza enda ujue maujanja huko tauni nini unaweza chukua na, na cheaper price ukuje ukae nazo unaweza zika baada kwa kanga status za memes kwa whatsapp kila yeah, siku weka weka ushanga, products yeah. kwa status weka product uh, watu wakizoea so, kuona anga uko nazo mm. there's one or two people to buy ama watu watafanya ni recommendation so right. and then uh, most people may notice wanafanya business na wewe ni watu wenye ujui watu wenye uh, wanajua na wana wana nani kama akibai kitu kwako wana nani kama eh. so strangers na Nairobi ni wanakuwa the best hata wana become family actually yeah. yeah and then wao kufanywa kazi poa na usikuwe mulafi just mark up price ya ile kitu menua kidogo usitaki ku solve your financial problems na mtu mmoja yeah, so just so to client mmoja na professionalism mm-hmm. na utapata referral small so yeah that's that is for now mm-hmm. i show the best